Um, if you're a skeptic and you're watching this, um, I first encourage you to go to the comment section of this video because under the comment section of all my videos, I present a bunch of evidence in favor of Christianity. Um, so I want you to really see the evidence and it might open up your eyes so you can really definitely check it out and read it. So just scroll down to the comment section and then come back to this video. Um, okay, so brothers and sisters in Christ, um, um, today I'm going to be talking about another vision I had of, of me seeing God and what I saw. And uh, um, as you may know, if you're a longtime subscriber, I've shared I've shared lots of visions. I actually, I've seen God. Um, this was the fourth time. Um, I've had other visions where I've seen God. You can look at my older uploads. And um, what I think I'm gonna do is um take all the um take all the visions I ha I've seen of God specifically and just put them together and make like one big upload in the future. Um, so this was the fourth time, like I said, this was an open vision. So I was completely awake when this vision happened. Um, um, I've seen God twice where uh, the vision was through a dream while my body was asleep, but my spirit was up. It was through a dream. But in this one specifically, just like the last vision I shared of me seeing Jesus Christ, um, this one, I was completely awake when it happened. And the interesting thing about this vision is, is that, um, I've seen, I've seen God um, this was the fourth time, like I said, I've seen God on four different occasions. And, and this was the first time that I've seen Father God. In the other visions I had of God, I saw Jesus Christ, who's God the Son. But in this one specifically, I saw Father God. So that was very interesting. And yeah, that's pretty interesting. And yeah, I saw I saw Father God, basically. So um, the vision started and also um, I've had visions before where I was not sure whether I was in my body. I was not sure whether I was outside of my body. But in this one, um, it's, I knew I was inside my body. So my, while, this, while this vision was happening, my soul was definitely inside my body. Um, so, the, the, so the vision starts and the first thing I see right off the bat is I see Father God on his throne. Just like straight up. That's the first scene. I see Father God on his throne. And his face was not revealed to me, and I, I I could only see parts of him, so I could not see his face, I could not see his hands. It, it wasn't like that, but I saw um, I saw parts of him. I don't know how to really describe it, but he was definitely sitting on his throne, and I was in his presence, and there was just this holy presence, and seeing Father God in heaven and sitting on his throne, and you just feel this holy presence, and. Now that I now that I remember it, I saw um I saw a lot of gold. I'm pretty sure that's significant. It's in it, I was in his presence and there was a lot of gold. I guess that's what heaven looks like. I guess there's like the streets are paved in gold in heaven, I guess, but um I haven't really had like a formal visitation to heaven. I've had dreams of heaven, but I really have not had like a visitation there. So through these dreams I can just kind of make out what kind of what it is pretty much. So um, I saw Father God on his throne and he was angry, man. He was righteously angry. I don't know why he was angry. I don't know what he was saying, but I was just stunned. But all I knew was God had a right to be angry. His anger was righteous. And he was angry about something significant. So I was stunned. I was in his presence. I was in his holy presence and he was, he was, he was mad. He was mad. And that that was the first part of the vision. And so when the vision ended, I had to, um, I had to, um, I repented because I didn't know if God was angry at me or if God was angry at the world. But I repented just in case because I, 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 I did not want to experience that anger. And I repented and yeah, after that, that was after the vision. And then the second part of the vision is after I saw that um, and also. And you know, if to those of you that have had um, visions of God, visions of Jesus Christ, um, after you have the vision, you go online, you try to find the picture that like best, um, you you try to find the picture that like, that's like closest to what what you've seen. I'll, that's what I'll in this video. I'll, I'll try to find like the picture that um, like pictures that like closely resemble what I saw. But it's always hard because um, you see God and. You, you see something amazing and then you go online, you try to find something similar, like a picture of what you saw. And it's, you really, it's, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to say the least. Um, so getting to the second part of the vision. Um, so the second part, um, I, I was in God's presence, right? And then, um, 
And then I was immediately like, I felt I was leaving God's presence, but I, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want, like, I wanted to stay. I wanted, to, even though God was angry, I wanted to stay in his, um, near the throne room, right? But um, I was being taken out. Pretty much I was getting kicked out of his presence. And the, the next scene that I saw was, I saw, I saw war. I saw, I saw a thing, um, battleships. I saw submarines and they were just going at it. I saw like, the rockets and bombs, they were just shooting at, at each other. And I've seen war before. And in this one, it was significant because this was the first time I saw war at sea. In my rapture and end times vision that I had um, during the tribulation, I saw soldiers like marching all across the world and shooting. And the world, the world, the world was at war. But this was really the first time that I saw uh, like a naval battle to say. Um, so I'll try to include in this video like pictures that like closely resemble what I saw and I know I'm not going to get it like 100% correct, but I'll try my best. Um, so I saw war and I'm pretty sure this war is, um, it, it, it somehow, it somehow ties into end times prophecy. Um, that's all I know. It, it ties into end times prophecy. This is something significant. I did not know, but in this vision, I've had visions before where everything was so clear, everything was so vivid. But in this one, not too much res was revealed to me. I didn't know, um, to start off, I didn't know exactly the reason why God was angry. And second of all, the war that I saw, I did not really know who was fighting and like what was all the fighting about. Um, so yeah, that's not all visions that we get from God. God does not reveal everything to one single person. The knowledge we have is is limited and incomplete and God gives parts to different people. So I guess my vision that I had of war and Father God sitting on his throne, um, this somehow ties into another vision, maybe another brother or sister in Christ had. Um, so yeah, this is what I wanted to share. And also in the comment section of this video, um, like I said, I have a bunch of evidence in favor of Christianity. Please read it. Please spread that. And in the description box of this video, I have a message about the end times. Please read that and please spread that and all glory to God. And thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, God bless.